good morning and welcome back to another video uh, in today's video as you can see we're um, we're back mowing <clears throat> uh, i didn't have the camera with me yesterday where i was bailing nearly all day and then i was wrapping last night just taking the sticks out here i'm actually down on a golf course and uh, we cleared it off last year we made hay on it where the it's another guy's job and he brought me in on it and I make so many bales for him and I can have the rest, that's the deal we have done on it. <clears throat> but there's young lads here and it's slow going because they could have anything in it. They could have anything in it. The young lads and, and all the teenagers do be down here and uh, causing havoc. We made hay in it last year and I think they burned 10 or 14 bales of hay and even set some of the some of the other ground on fire where the fire brigade had to come so I'm just doing your man your man wants 300 bales here so I'm gonna do that first for him anyway like it was late we finished up it was one o'clock finishing up this morning uh, where we wrapped the bales off that hundred acres um, didn't have a whole lot of help first shout out to Richie Turner he he rescued me last night so um, and then I have an early, I'm an early finish this evening because it's my sister's 50th. So we're just going out for a bit of dinner. So happy birthday, Helen, and uh, get a few hours off and maybe even a pint and definitely get some cake. So, um, so that's the story. We're 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 back mowing, and as I said, uh, it, it's slow going. It's slow going today, but. Um, we, I don't mind that as long as everything goes okay I don't mind the slow part of it so but like it's lovely we cleared it off last year and uh, there's no weeds back in it just back down here now it's actually the, the next day uh, where I'm back mowing um, down on this golf course where I actually see it's a real heavy bar I actually hit that bar with the with the front mower and like it doesn't look a whole lot but it's real real heavy and um there's sort of a safety thing on the front mower where if it hits something i'll show you now where the things pop up and it breaks roll pins and you just take the top off then you put the roll pins back but um what happened was um as you can see you take this part off and you put in new roll pins but um the roll pins i got with it i just hadn't enough so i had to go drive down to Enniscorthy and get more roll pins and plus i had no impact wrench either i've no impact wrench and i only had a few spanners and it would have been a nightmare to take that off um something i'm gonna have to get is an impact wrench because i even got my mechanic to change the blades on my back mower as well because they're done with a bolt and it's a nightmare to change the blades on that so i had no impact wrench it would have took me half a day to do it so it took him i'd say 15 minutes to get an impact wrench and done that so we're back here now it's slow going and we'll see how we get going now it's left a good few marks on there just just that just that one bit of of metal so that's say the thing down here with the kids and all, you just don't know what's in it, so we'll, we'll, we'll go handy.
Now that's really, that's really how easy it is to take off them mowers, even that front mower. It's very easy to get on and get and put, put on and get off. And uh, you see, I saw with that one there. Um, it's reasonably easy taking on and off as well, but um, I'm going to stick the baler on now, so we'll be baling first thing in the morning. We're going to fill with diesel, uh, add blue, barrels of add blue there, but they're empty. I ordered a new barrel today, so I might have to go and just get a couple of little cans but, uh, if it hasn't come in the morning. But anyway, we'll see how things go. Just down at the sheep here, it's actually <clears throat> a couple of days on from the earlier in the video um, where we bailed that stuff down the golf course, but I brought the camera with me yesterday, but I brought the wrong battery, the battery was dead. So I didn't get the video any of that at all. We bailed over 300 bales and that's that's your man sorted. I'm, I'm in partnership with him down there. Um, that's what he gets and I have to get the rest, but I've, I've nothing else mowed down there. Like it's, um, it's a bit duller now. And they're sort of given. They're sort of given. I think a bit of rain for the weekend, so just down checking the sheep. Um, probably have to maybe get them in over the weekend because there's a few lame yos and maybe sort out some lambs. See, get some. There's definitely lambs ready to go. <clears throat> so um, yeah, we've probably two more big days down at that golf course. I'd say. Um, and I haven't any video on doing the wrapper yet because the wrapper there's there's a problem with a sensor. So I'm actually going to see can I maybe try to sort that out myself today. I was on the phone to the boys and it's just the sensor needs to be moved where the wrapper's coming around and it's stopping in the wrong place. And it's a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, we got the remote working. Remote's working fine and the wrapper's working fine. It's just that it, he said that sensor needs to be moved. So if that doesn't work out, he probably have to uh, bring down a new sensor. But like. That, it's an easy fix. That's an easy fix, you know. You don't mind stuff like that. So I'm just going to throw a few nuts into the creep feed and go around and check the O's, make sure there's no lambs, maggot and anything like that. But my lambs are clean enough. They're not that dirty uh, on the back end. But there's a few of them lame. I see there's a few of them lame. And I ran them through the footpath um, before they come down here. They're on the new grass now. So I'll probably maybe over the weekend bring them back up. And check the lambs, maybe give them another dose, uh, mineral dose. Well, they got a mineral dose coming down and run them through the footpath again. And just there's definitely a few lame yaws, maybe sort them out as well. Just up here in the shed, the cattle shed, <clears throat> just to show you, I did show you briefly in another video where I was, um, had the slurry tanker and was uh, washing it out. It was just it's, uh, I, I had a mate here, he was he done. Worked with me here for a week. He actually took him a week to to um, completely power wash it out. And I just brought the tanker up to make everything spotless. I brought the tanker up to just soften, just to just to wet out the back there where the lie back is to soften the dung. And then it was easy enough power wash then. But he, he got a week out of it up here. Um. So yeah, I have an inspection. Yeah, you have to do this. You have to power wash it and disinfect it. I've just finished disinfecting now. Um, you have to do that in order to the department come and inspect it then and then you get your money for your cattle. So it was just to show you how how clean it is. It's done a great job on it. Everything's spotless. So hopefully um, oh, I'll show you the crush actually, the crush and all there, everything is spotless, that's what I'm just finished, I'm just finished disinfectant where I had half a, or nearly a three quarters of a, of a nab sack, so I, I just spilt it out there, I'm just finished disinfectant in here, the gates and all, so, so that's the story, we're actually um, probably going wrapping today, uh, for a customer and uh, don't know whether I get much of that video or not some people don't like the camera or whatever so we'll see how we go but I know there's a guy from Clark machinery coming down because I think there, yeah, there's something wrong with the sensor on the wrapper so I think he's coming today just to, to check that and yeah so we good bit of wrapping but it's to be this video will be out uh, the weekend will be gone so there's a good bit of, I think they're giving a bit of rain so um, 
maybe we'll get at some sheep later in this video as well and uh, need to mark some of the yows and maybe sort out some lambs for hey it's just the uh, next day again here uh, where i brought i was wrapping and stacking yesterday and i brought the camera and that's the second time this has happened where maybe it's me making a mistake charging but the, when I, the battery was dead and it happened the other day when I was bailing so I don't know whether it's a battery issue or I'm just in too much of a rush and I'm not charging the feckin thing properly so apologies for that because I've missed two days there now where um, I could have finished off this video but anyway we're going we're going mowing this morning again uh, we're just taking off the loader here um, going to go off the loader put the mowers on and go mowing and yeah with the wrapping and stacking yesterday we done about oh uh, we didn't start till it was four o'clock yesterday evening we finished up at one o'clock uh, because just one of the guys tractors broke down a burst of water pipe or something like that and then it was a long draw so I was waiting on them so I actually went and drew a load myself for them and uh, the lads are now neighbours so uh, I didn't mind giving them a dig out probably should have went for more loads but anyway but when you're, when you're wrapping and stacking like that in the yard the, the dust the tractor gets just completely dusty so what I might do actually the mowers could probably do with a bit of a rinse off after today so what I might do is is when I'm finished the mowing this morning is pull into the house there and, and power wash the tractor and the mowers it doesn't have to be perfect just give them a, a bit of a rinse off because the mowers haven't been done since we started no, I haven't done that much yet because it's still early still in June but um, it's good to be getting this bit done early because it, it, it's more out of the way and hopefully then there won't be as big of a crash in another 10 days or two weeks when when it really kicks off um, hopefully this will lighten the load a bit but sure it always happens that you've late nights just just the way it is it's always always happens like that like yeah like it was one o'clock again this morning so, on this uh, grass here now where it's very slow going this was reseed last year and um, the back mower is struggling with it for some reason it was just running over and I've changed the top link up and down so I'm just crawling now to three and a half K. There's no bother with the front mower, it hasn't clogged her. <clears throat> and the, the slip clutch was going off on the back mower there. So, look, I don't mind going slow as it gets it up, but it's really, really heavy, really green uh, reseed. But um, I'm only crawling. But look, at, as, as I said, I don't mind that. Um, there's a few drops of rain there now as well. So he's planning on bailing this up on Monday. It's Saturday morning now. I don't know whether he'll want to leave it. <coughs> I don't know whether he wants to leave it for another day because it's, it's real heavy. <coughs> Excuse me, real heavy and real green. So look, we'll see how it goes. We've another field to do anyway. So, and the uh, slip clutch was going off, so 
I was just crawling in it, but got it done anyway, so we're probably going to go home now and get a bit of lunch and then I might just look at the weather again to see what way the weather is. So we're giving a supper rain, but it, I don't think Feg is going to come here. We usually, the rain usually misses us any time there's a bit of a drought. So I'll check the weather and then I'll probably maybe go a bit of, mow a bit of my own. Um, there's only 10 acres in it and it's not heavy, but like it, it's nice stuff, so um, might do that. And then actually, I don't know whether to finish this video off then or we, we could be doing maybe uh, some sheep work tomorrow. So I might, after the mowing, when I do my own, maybe we finish this video and we put the sheep, we put the sheep in the next one. So, just back in the yard here now where uh, the supper rain has stopped the mowing. I don't think it's not going to be a whole lot, but I was actually going to mow. Um, my cousin rang there so I was going to mow his we've just done two laps of it and the rain just stopped it so no point mowing it in the rain so I'd say this will be the end of this video so again if you like give it a thumbs up uh, if you haven't subscribed please do, please do so and we will catch you at the next one